All right, let's learn about the Unity scroll rect as fast as possible. So I've got this container here and I've got these characters that I recently drew. And what I would like to do is put them inside the panel and allow the user to scroll left and right with their finger or their mouse, depending on the device. And I would also like to hide any overflow and only show them in the confines of this panel. So let's get started. So click on your panel and what I'll actually do is I'll name this scroll for simplicity. Oops. On your panel or your scroll, add a scroll rect. Make your content a child of the scroll and I'll just center it all out here. Now with your scroll highlighted, drag your content into the content field of your scroll rect. Now I'll go over the settings here in a bit, but for now, all, I, all you have to know is as this is a horizontal scroll, I will turn off vertical movement and I'll actually show you why. With vertical selected, you can do, go all angles and it, it kind of looks a little bit disgusting. It's not exactly what we want. So if we turn off vertical, you'll see it's just a nice, nice horizontal scroll. Okay. So secondly, we wanted to mask the characters uh, outside of this panel so that they only show within the confines. So what we're going to need for that is a middle component in between our scroll and our content. So let's add an image and let's call this a view and we'll expand it holding alt and uh, alt and shift on windows. Um, not actually sure what it is on Mac. Sorry guys, um, to expand it, to reach the full confines. Um, we'll take our content and we'll make it a child of the view. So now we've got scroll, the view and the content. With the scroll collect clicked, um, grab your view and put it into the viewport there. Now nothing seems to have changed, but the magic happens when you go to view and you add a mask. Now what that will do is it will mask all the child image components to your view image right here. Now, uh, this has obviously blocked the panel below it. Um, there's a few ways to fix this. The first way is to change your opacity of your view image down to one. That's usually what I do because it's the quickest and it's the easiest. Um, alternatively, you can pick the UI mask, which is given to you by Unity by default. Um, and that's obviously too transparent to show. So maybe I have to raise it a little bit. Basically when you, when you, when you remove all the opacity, there's, there's nothing to mask anything. So you have to have it a little bit, um, a little bit up. What I usually do is just, just the one opacity on, on, on no, no sprite in the image renderer. Okay. So now, as you can see, it. It, it uh, masks on the outside, but it's not perfect because it's kind of going over our panel. So an easy fix is to just hold alt and kind of like pull the view in. Okay, not the actual scroll, just the view. And now you can see it scrolls nicely. That's a little bit clippy still. Just like that. There you go. All right. So that's how you mask a scroll view. All right, so the scroll area is dictated by the size of your content. So as you can see, I've got uh, a large content area, which is able to show all the characters. But what if I was to reduce the content size? Now, there's no way for me to get across to all the other characters. Now this can be a problem, especially if your content is dynamic and you have no idea how many items you're going to actually have in this area and you're, you're adding them at runtime. So what you can do in this scenario is you go to your content and you add a content size fitter. Okay. And as this is a horizontal content, we'll use horizontal fit and I'll choose preferred size. So that will always completely encapsulate the bounds of the children elements. So as you can see there, and it's, and it's perfectly stopping on both sides. Now this will still work if I add more items to the scroll rect. So that's a good way to, to, um, use a scroll rect. If you have dynamic content, 
You can also play with how the scroll feels. So right now by default, it's just elastic, which you can see here. You can make it more elastic, which starts to make it a little bit slower to react. It can be quite fun and feel quite nice, but if you take it to ridiculous levels, um, it starts to, yeah, be not very practical. Um, so keep those kind of low. I forgot what the default was, but yeah, that feels nice. Um, secondly is unrestricted. Now this allows you to just scroll and scroll and scroll regardless of the content size. Um, could be good for some situations. And clamped is similar to elastic. It's just, it it is very rigid on the edges, more of like a professional feel as opposed to elastic, whereas the it kind of feels like a modern iPhone or an Android. Okay. Now, there is actually a far easier way to create a scroll rect, and that is by going UI, scroll view. Okay, so let's just move our old one up here. Now, this one by default comes with horizontal and vertical scroll bars. I personally don't like them. I think uh, you can do uh, it much more gracefully by just adding like a little bit of shadow here if they've got content coming to the right, to the left. Uh, same goes for the right. But uh, for more businessy style apps, a scroll bar is always always good. So in the same way, as you can see, they've got the scroll, they've got the viewport, and then they've got the content. Um, so what we can do is just duplicate our content here, replace the content here, align it all up. And then in the same way that we did it with ours, we can just set the content here. And there we go, we've got our horizontal scroll bar. Um, as I said, it works exactly the same if you want to do a vertical scroll bar. Um, I could just turn off vertical here. Um, obviously, the vertical scroll bar will show up once you've actually got vertical content to scroll. So there you have it. It's just about everything that I can think of with the scroll view. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial on the scroll racks, leave a like, maybe even be my very first subscriber uh, if you're quick. And uh, I plan to be doing lots of quick tutorials like this in the future, so uh, stick around.